everyone, it's Julia here from Inflorescence Designs. Today I'm sharing how to make this watermelon pattern that you can add to any quilt top you desire. So let's begin. In order to complete this project, you will need to purchase and download the templates that are used. You can find those in my Etsy shop, and there is a link in the description below. Start by cutting out 6A and 6B of the templates. Next, we need to sew A and B together. To sew these, you will be sewing on a curve, so I suggest basting the curves together. I like using the glue basting method. It's simple and there aren't a bunch of pins in the way. For additional video footage of the glue basting method, there is a link in the description below. Next, press all your pieces. Continue by laying out each of your pieces and then sewing them together. Once all six pieces of your watermelon have been sewn together, you will need to cut out the quarter circle and adhere it to those pieces. I am going to use the same glue basting method to sew this curve. Now it is time to add our seeds. I am using heat and bond light sewable fusible web to adhere my seeds to my watermelon. Start by fusing the fusible web to your black fabric, tracing and cutting out the seeds. Adhere those seeds to the front of your watermelon wedge. And then applique or stitch in place those seeds. You have now completed your quarter watermelon piece. At this point, you can use it however you like. In this video, I am making a small quilt or a placemat. I am using Spray and Bond Basting Spray to baste my watermelon to my fabric piece top. I will then make my quilt sandwich and I will applique the green raw edge of my watermelon. Finish your quilted piece by quilting, cutting, and finally binding your piece. 